The snapshots from Junior's short life show the light in his eyes, and the videos capture his charm. Start rapping, bro. Start rapping. Nah, nah, I'm all kind of you don't rap. <laughs> he had a whole world he could have explored, but the Bronx world where Junior lived and died, with his last steps to St. Barnabas Hospital caught on surveillance, mortally wounded and alone, this world demanded answers as to why he was targeted. When they kill him, I called Jason right away, and I asked, where do you live? Junior and Junior told him, Jason, I got to meet somebody in Adam's place. This is Adam's place near East 183rd Street, and it's very significant in the Junior investigation. That's because after the teenager left his house about 10 o'clock on June 20th to meet his friend Jason, he made a fateful and ultimately fatal decision to stop here on Adam's place just a few blocks from home. They know he was innocent, innocent kids. It doesn't seem now like Junior ever made it to Adams because a four-car convoy started chasing him about a block away by East 184th Street, across 3rd Avenue, and down East 183rd to the bodega. And one of the sad coincidences to this story is that Junior's mother, Leandra Felice, worked in housekeeping at St. Barnabas Hospital, assigned to the intensive care unit. Every day, I was seeing John Key stabbing, shooting by Adam's place every night, the police. I knew my son was making, starting to make friends in Adam's place, and I was telling my son to no go. Some of the pals Junior knew from Adam's were older and coordinated the candle vigils outside the bodega in the teen's honor. I'm there has been plenty of speculation on the web about just who texted Junior to go over there, a male or female, and that's one of the mysteries PIX11 is still working on. But one law enforcement source did tell us that at least two of the Trinitario gang suspects in the Bodega murder, Frederick Then and Diego Suero, had been present at the stabbing of a 14-year-old two days before Junior was killed, though they haven't been charged in that first attack. Asade Hope was slashed 17 times on the Bronx River Parkway and lost a kidney. Our law enforcement source said it's because Hoke got into a middle school beef with a classmate who was a Trinitario. But Hoke's life was spared. And then you come back to the poor, broke-ass life. This was Hoke from his new home out of town, and he had this Instagram warning for Bronx kids navigating through their early teen years. I just want to tell every little 14-year-old boy, 15, 16, get out them streets. Because if you don't get out them streets, you're going to end up in jail, one, dead, two. Junior had been a popular member of the NYPD Explorers program and once told his mother he wanted to be a detective when he grew up. Now detectives have rounded up 14 people accused in his murder, a slaughter captured on camera outside a corner bodega. There is more to be added to these Junior files, more that will someday be revealed. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.